Nick Cregan of Batwoman, the new Joker. Thank you so much for speaking with the Nerds of Color today. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome, Suara. How are you, man? I'm doing great, man. I'm so glad to be talking to you. So thank you so much for speaking with the Nerds of Color today. Um, what's it like filming on Batwoman? And what's it like been like to be sort of like this emotional wrecking ball for Ryan Wilder, our Batwoman's life? <laughs> it's been awesome, man. It's been incredible. I mean, like, the first day that I got on set, uh, it was really cool because my first scene was with Javicia, who plays Ryan. And right off the back, it was just like, you know, action right away. Um, our chemistry is awesome together. The cast is incredible. And uh, actually, I have this really cool, you might like this, uh, I have this really cool figurine that uh, Cameras had made for me. It's going to be- That's so cool. On every <laughs> mantle that I have. Um, so yeah, man, it's been awesome working with the cast and crew. Um, the emotional roller coaster has been a lot of fun to dive into. I feel like Marcus is a complicated character because there have been moments where I've gotten messages from fans where they're like, oh, I hate this guy, but I also like feel bad for him and I don't know what to feel. So that's exactly the goal I was going for. I wanted him to be multi-layered and pull on the heartstrings of people who are watching him. You know, he'll draw you in with, with, crying out mommy and then snap of finger he turns around and he's throwing his mom on a hospital table so um yeah it's been a lot it's been a roller coaster you know i actually was going to ask you about that if you think that marcus is really as evil as the show has presented him so far but what is it that you think marcus really wants at the end of the day especially from his family so everybody <sighs> The, the reason why I loved the, the Joker with Joaquin Phoenix so much was because you got to see the human side of what happens when somebody's pushed to a certain limit, right? Like not saying that any of the actions that Joaquin Phoenix, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker did was uh, any, any bit of correct, but you can kind of see how somebody can get to that point. So in Marcus's case, you got to see what it was like for somebody who grew up without a father figure for most of his life because he murdered him um, and what it was like to live with an absentee mother who cared a lot about work. And I feel like at the end of the day, Marcus really just wants family and love. He feels a void of feeling accepted and, and, and belonging. Um, you know, you'll learn more about his story and that buzzing that he spoke about later, but you know, whenever something catastrophic like that happens in a child's life and they're growing up without that caring of a parent, then, you know, they might end up going off the deep end. Hopefully not as far as Marcus went, but you could kind of see how that could happen. So I feel like having the opportunity to show the human side of Marcus has been a big, uh, big win as well. Yeah, absolutely. So you had already mentioned Joaquin Phoenix's Joker, but who, what was your first introduction to the character? And how do you think your version of this new Joker differs? Oh, as a concept. Um, I mean, it was as a kid when I was watching the Batman cartoons. I mean, you know, that was one of my favorite shows growing up. Uh, it was a dark cartoon, obviously, for a kid, but I felt like the Joker and Harley Quinn were two of my favorite characters because they kept things interesting always, right? If it wasn't for the main villains of the Batman cartoon series, it kind of would be boring. There would be no point in having the Batman. So that was my earliest introduction to the character. But I mean, I also grew up watching the Michael Keaton version of Batman and, you know, um, you know, those type of, 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 of villains in those movies. And then when Joaquin Phoenix's Joker came out, that was the first time I had really seen a full storyline because I wasn't really a comic book reader. So I got to see the actual origin story of the Joker, which was incredible to me um, because you got to see that he was pretty much a regular person in the beginning of the day that was just overlooked and, and not seen by society. So many people go through that. So uh, yeah, his Joker was, was, was a big influence on the type of insanity I wanted Marcus to have. Totally. So I'm curious, like, 
you know, we have so many conversations now about mental health and how uh, we want to depict it in media. And, you know, we want all characters, villains, neutral heroes to be morally complex, but still know what they're going through. So how do you aim to play Marcus sort of as this somewhat unapologetic villain, but you're still careful not to stigmatize mental health issues. I'm really curious for your take on this. Well, I mean, one of my biggest uh, inspirations in this was mental health. You know, I've had my own battles with um, anxiety and, and bouts of depression in regular day life. And a lot of times, especially in black and brown communities, mental health is not the forefront of the conversation, you know, um, some people's communities will say, oh, like, just go to church or, you know, pray and things of that nature, as opposed to, okay, what are you actually dealing with? Like, I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to talk to you. Um, maybe you should get a therapist. Uh, you know, me having a therapist in my own personal life has been a huge win in my mental health journey. So when I saw what Marcus was going through at the end of the day, any rendition of the Joker has to deal with mental health and mental illness. So I wanted people to be able to have empathy more than anything that mental health, uh, while, you know, there are certain people that have to have outbursts ranging from seeing a quote unquote, uh, disturbed person on a public train in New York city, all the way to the type of craziness that Marcus jet is putting out in the world. It all deals with not having somebody that, you know, you can feel seen by. Uh, so I wanted this to raise the conversation of mental health at a higher level. And I wanted people to be able to empathize with Marcus's character and not just say, oh, this dude is crazy. Like, I hope he gets killed. No, how about, yeah, this dude has a lot of mental issues. Maybe he wouldn't have gone that far if his mother and father would have, you know, kind of helped him work through those things at an earlier stage. So uh, in the most recent episode of Batwoman, uh, we're recording this week. Um, first, it's going to be the Poison Ivy episode, but then we're going to get to your more featured episode. Marcus has sort of been put on ice or rather on plant for now, uh, but he's certainly coming back to wreak vengeance on the Bat team. So without spoiling too much, what can we expect to see go in this episode and uh, going forward for the rest of the season? Um, so... Uh... Marcus is definitely not finished. Um, I, I'm trying to use my words carefully without giving away too much, but what the, what the fans can definitely look forward to um, are some very classic themes from the Batman comic book series. Uh, there are going to be some themes that we dive into that are going to get a lot of people excited um, so look out for things that you might have not, might not have seen in years. Uh, that's what I can say. Ooh, I'm so intrigued now, but, um, yeah, I just can't wait to see it. And Nick, you do a fantastic job on the show. Batwoman is a fantastic show with so many fantastic actors such as yourself. And just thank you so, so much for speaking with the Nerds of Color today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Swaru. I really appreciate it, and I uh, can't wait to check this out. Lectures, fanboys, professional artists, and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you, talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not like comics, movies, and TV. Yeah, pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play. So check this.